Alright, I am back. Um, not sure why whenever I start recording I need to cough, but... <coughs> yeah, here we are. The, um, no major updates, just the usual. Uh, I'll kind of see what I have to do, but just the main storyline like usual. So yeah, otherwise, here we go. Revelio. Thank <laughs> you. 
Rebellion. <laughs> there they are. She wasn't making it up. Well, we've come this far. Miss Willardsy might get an answer about these boxes. Incendio! We have here. Incendio. Rebellion. Rebellion.
Revelio. Hello, Miss Willardy. Well, what happened? Did you find them? They led me into the forest and revealed the treasure. Oh, how lovely! I'm glad you were rewarded for your efforts. <sighs> Perhaps one day I'll be able to bring myself to go into the forest. For now, I'm happy simply knowing there's something so lovely to see. Should I dare? Rebellion. I'll say it again. Can't thank you enough for helping to save the village from those trolls. Rebellion.
can't imagine how inconvenient travel was before I invented flu powder. Professor, what can you tell me about your work at the Ministry? Your curiosity is understandable. Well, although I can't speak in any detail of my work, I can tell you certain interesting facts. Unspeakables work in the Ministry's Department of Mysteries. Dangerous work at times, as you've no doubt guessed. Yes, Professor. Now, you needn't concern yourself with my injury. I made peace long ago with the fact that a sprig of Dittany, once plucked, will surely begin to wilt. You do seem to have come to terms with things rather well. It's a matter of perspective. Without saying more, perhaps whatever time I've lost was an exchange for time gained. And to dwell on such matters is a waste of the days ahead. At this point, no magic permits us to travel back in time. Perhaps one day. Yes, I can tell you that my years at the Ministry were well spent. And I'm as happy to be at Hogwarts now as I was to be in the Department of Mysteries years ago. If I may, Professor, I'm also happy that you're here at Hogwarts now. Kind of you to say. Speaking of time, perhaps yours would be best spent honing your defensive wand work. <laughs> yes, Professor. Rebellion. Over here. Sebastian, it's been a while. It has. Glad you received my owl. I have something to show you. First, let me thank you for what you did in the library. Of course. Scribner tried to give me detention, but I have ways out of these things. Well, you took the fall for me, and that counts for something. Did you find what you were looking for? I did. Something was missing. I'm not sure here is the best place to discuss it. Understood. We can talk more in a moment, in the Undercroft. Not even the professors know about this place. This way. There's a secret passage just here. It's well disguised. How did you find this place? My friend, Ominous Gaunt. Revelio. He named it the Undercroft. We used to play gobstones here all the time. With my sister, Anne. She loved that infernal game. What I wouldn't give to lose to her again. I should tell you, I swore to Ominous I would safeguard this place. So please, keep this between us. He never confides in anyone. But he's trusted me since the day we met. I wouldn't want to jeopardize that. We used to sneak in here almost daily. We've never been rebellious. I think I've seen Ominous in potions. Or was it Herbology? I've noticed that he uses his wand to navigate the castle. He does. No idea how, though. Ominous was born blind, and no spell could reverse it. His wand seems almost sentient. Not surprising, I suppose. Ollivander always says, the wand chooses the wizard. Is that how he found this place? No, someone in his family knew about it. The Gaunts are full of secrets. I've never heard anyone else speak of it, and I've certainly never seen anyone else here. Again, mention this to no one, especially Ominous. He has no love lost for his family or their secrets, but this place is special to him. Understood. Why does Ominous have no love lost for his family? His father's family are direct descendants of Salazar Slytherin, one of the four founders of Hogwarts. Obsessed with blood status, most of them. Ominous cannot abide them, as he'll be the first to tell you. Anyway, the Undercroft has been a perfect place to sneak off to, away from prying eyes, and even practice otherwise forbidden spells. Really? Like what? Like the Blasting Curse. 
professors say it's not an appropriate spell to teach students. A proper magical education ought to include all magic. My thoughts exactly. A spell like Confringo is only truly dangerous in untrained hands. Such spells should be properly taught, not banned. To be fair, I'm admittedly partial to more fiery forms of magic. But you should learn it. I can teach it to you safely here. It may take a while to get the feel for it. Mimic my wand movement. The incantation is Confringo. Very well. You're getting it. Ready to actually try it out? Stick to the targets, though. Revelio. Best to keep the Undercroft intact. Have a go at those candelabras. Both have three goes. Nice work. That's it. I think I've got it. Well done. I have to say, I enjoyed that. The first time Ominous and I practiced Confringo, we singed our eyebrows. <laughs> I would have paid to see that. I swore we'd never live it down. So this day, there's something about that spell that's addictive. This is exactly the type of magic I've been hoping to learn. There's more where that came from. Been practicing similar spells here for ages. Although, I didn't tell Anne and Ominous about every one. Haven't been here in some time. It's not the same without Anne. I'm sorry about your sister. If there's anything I can do... Perhaps when I next head to Feldcroft, you could come along. Meet Anne. She could use some cheering up. Just let me know when and I'll meet you. Oh, she misses Hogwarts. She's been stuck at home with our guardian, Uncle Solomon. Unfortunately, you'll have to meet him too. Well, meeting a new student will be precisely what she needs. I shall look forward to it. Cheers. By the way, what was it you couldn't discuss out in the hall earlier? I'm not sure where to start. You said something was missing from what you found in the library. I assume it's to do with what you told me. About the port key and Gringotts and Ranrock. Nothing gets past you. And yes, it is. As I'm sure you suspect, there is a bit more to all of this. I'm listening. You must promise to keep this between us. I trusted you with knowledge of the secret Undercroft. You can trust me. All right. I can see traces of ancient magic. Ancient magic? I don't know what I was expecting you to say, but it wasn't that. What does that even mean? Honestly, I'm not entirely certain. All I know is that I can see whispers of an old magic that hardly anyone else can. Fig and I think that Ranrock has somehow found a way to harness that magic's power. Are you telling me that goblins may be wielding some sort of wizard magic? That's what we're trying to find out. And this ability of yours, does it allow you to wield this magic too? I... Uh, I don't know. Well, when you do know, tell me. I've been studying archaic forms of magic for ages. Perhaps we can help each other. In the meantime, with both Rookwood and Ranrock after you, I suspect a bit more time practicing the blasting curses in order. Spend as much time here as you'd like. And remember, keep this place between us. When I head to Feldcroft, I'll send you an hour. Rebellion! Hello, Sebastian. Wait. You there! I can hear you! Oh, hello. Ominous, isn't it? I believe we have potions together. And herbology? I recognize that voice. Heard you talking to Gareth Weasley in potions class. 
You're the new fifth year. Did you just come from the Undercroft? How did you get in there? That room's called the Undercroft. Ah, well, I was exploring and then suddenly found myself in a strange passageway. Don't lie to me. No one stumbles upon that room. Sebastian told you, didn't he? You breathe a word about this place to anyone. And not even your precious Professor Fig will be able to help you. My father is friends with the Headmaster. I am not afraid to exploit that connection if I need to. You needn't threaten me. I'm not going to say anything about your Undercroft. And Sebastian is a good friend. You shouldn't immediately assume the worst of him. I don't need you to tell me about my oldest friend. Thank you very much. Ominous, I just meant- I know what you meant. Sebastian gets himself in enough trouble. He doesn't need your help. Sebastian is going to get an earful about this. Revelio. Come and see me as soon as you can. I've returned from a rather unproductive trip to the Ministry, hoping your time has been more fruitful than mine. Wingardium Leviosa. It can be used to levitate objects for a short time. Once you've completed a few prerequisite tasks, do see me after class.
Revelio. Goes that last Clementine. Had you chasing? But welcome. Come on in. Now, where, where was I? Right. Oh yes. <laughs> No one can say I don't keep a stack shelf. Rebellion. Revelio. Come on inside. Oh, watch yourself, though. Let's have you leave here alive. Hello. Oh, hello. Whew. Sorry I'm in a bit of a tizzy. I was just scolding some of the plants for spitting and nipping. I suppose it's my own fault for putting more than four to a tray. By the way, Beatrice Green is the name, but you may address me as Madam Green. Welcome to Dogweed and Death Cap. Oh, mind you don't knock the mandrakes. Oh, if there wasn't the constant demand for antidotes, I wouldn't need to stock so many of the little dears. Except, of course, for curses. And, well, if you've been petrified, then obviously you've come to the right place. <laughs> Mind you don't knock the mandrakes. Oh, if there's an uprooting, you'll be the next one to drop dead and I'm in no mood for a clear-up. Someone died here. Aye. Fortunate, really, that it was just the one. Now then, how may I help you today? I think I'll just have a look around for now. Very well. Let me know if you see anything you like. What do you have for sale? Well, what say we show you some of what's available? But your things will be safe with me until they're sold. Then you'll have to make do with money. You're a force to be reckoned with, aren't you? Scaring all the goblins away. Oh, I'm always thrilled when a young one makes a wise purchase. I can tell you'll go far. Always open. You be sure to stop by soon. Such a wee bear! Oh, I'm always thrilled when a young one makes a wise purchase. I can tell you'll go far. Revelio.
Lumos. Rebellion. You've followed a wee butterfly to a grand treasury. Rebellion. Rebellion. Take your time looking about. Plenty of wonderful books to stoke a curious mind like yours.
Let me know if there's anything else I can do to help. Rebellion! Lumos Rebellion Lumos Rebellion. 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 Hello there, come on in. Plenty to look at here. Nothing like finding just the right thing, is there? 
Revelio. Let's look at what we have, shall we? A pleasure doing business with you. Let me know if there's anything else I can do to help.
Alright, that'll be it for today. I've been playing for almost an hour, so I'm not going to have to take a break. But uh, yeah, still lots to, lots to do after this, so just bear with me. But otherwise, peace out.